guys, it's the following day after um, Mozzie had his bump removed. And you can see he's doing good. He's up in the cat tree. I don't really want him jumping up there, but he keeps jumping up here. <laughs> um, he was really out of it last night from the anesthesia and um, pain meds, but he's doing a lot better today. Um, he's got a t-shirt on there to keep him from licking his stitches and opposed to the cone. He hated the cone. So I put this t-shirt on him and it seems to be working well, keeping him from messing with it. And what do you want, Max? What do you want? What do you want? <laughs> um, I wanted to make a correction uh, from the video I posted yesterday. I think I said something like, we're sending it the bump out to see if it is cancerous. Well, it, melanoma is cancer. So we were sending it out to see if it's benign or not. So I wanted to make that correction. Um, if I, if I stated that, I didn't go back to watch it to see, but someone said something to me that melanoma is cancer, which is true. We're sending it out to see if it's benign or not. So, and I'm praying, my fingers are crossed that um, it is and that it's not something serious, um, that we have to have treatments or something like that. I, I can't even think that way right now. I'm praying that everything's gonna be fine and which as I researched it a little, uh, Googling it, it, um, I guess it's very common in many schnauzers. I can't believe the things that they are prone to that I never knew about. <laughs> I guess it's really common in many schnauzers to get these little benign melanoma spots. So be aware of that people who own many schnauzers. I, uh, really check your dog's skin over, um, and check them for it because God forbid it's not benign and it's something serious. So I will be every time, which they need to be groomed. Look at his beard. Mozzie's not going to be able to be groomed for a couple weeks because he's got to wait a couple weeks to get those stitches out uh, before he can get a bath or anything done to him. So I'm really going to be checking these boys over from now on when they get groomed and um, all that jazz. So now I'm going to share some footage I shot before I took Mozzie to the vet and it's of the stroller that we are using from Max when we go on walks. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned and um, we'll talk to you guys later and I'll for sure give updates when we find out. We're hoping the beginning of next week to find out the results of the test. Bye guys. Real quick, real quick guys, I forgot. I wanted to show you where they took the bump off now that it's daylight. There's the stitches. Right there. Yes, we'll cover it back up. Yes, we'll cover it back up. <laughs> On to the stroller. Hey guys, today I wanted to share with you the Vivo Pet Stroller that I purchased for Max because he can only walk, we only let him walk a couple blocks um, and then we stick him in the pet stroller and then when we get closer to home we let him walk a couple blocks home. It's all uh, collapsed down right now because I just brought it in from the garage so let me get my tripod and I'll show you how it opens. Okay, so first I want to say I bought this on Amazon. So I will have, it was $50 and I believe 99 cents. Um, I'll have a link below. I'm not a affiliate of Amazon, so I do not get paid. Um, if you purchase something from the links, I just had a lot of people oh. asking me Shh, where I the products I use, so I list them. If I ever become an Amazon affiliate, I will let you guys know and make you aware if I make anything off of it. So on the side here is a little latch that holds it closed. So I hang this on a hook in the garage. So you just unhook this and it just, you're gonna hear a click if you can over the squeaker. And there it is all unfolded and then to let me get the camera hold on guys and then to collapse it down it has this red 
uh, lever here, you push over, and then with two hands, you push this in. Let me show you how it folds up. Excuse the squeaky toy in the background. McGee's trying to get my attention. So, you push the lever over, you squeeze in, I just kind of push my foot there to hold it, and it just collapses right down. And then you use that red latch to hold it together. So it um, collapses really easy and folds up for easy storage. Now let me show you the other features to it. Okay, sorry it's so dark in here, guys. Can you see the snow outside? It's really gloomy today, and it's almost 1.30. Really? Really? Hi, Max. Uh, <laughs> it's really gloomy out, so I got my lights on. I was going to do it out there, but I just don't have enough room. Hi, Marley. A room to move around out there, so I hope you guys can see this okay. So... Some of the features are, they do on the back wheels, there's little brakes here. Can you see them? You push these down so you can keep your stroller in place. And then in the front, it has this little footstep where, so when you're putting your dog in, you like my slippers? <laughs> my daughter got them for me. Um, you can hold the stroller in place to put your dog in. So if your dog's wiggling around or whatever. So, and then it has this little zippered area here in the front. I've never used it. Um, and then it has these little um, hooks here. So you could hook, when your dog's in there, you can hook these to their harness or their collar um, so they don't jump out. I don't use those. Or I haven't used them. Um, I guess if you want to slip your animal in this way, you could, but it gives it them a nice view out the front of the stroller there. And then in the back, it makes it hard to see because this thing's black. In the back here, there's also this, um, it's like a plastic see-through mesh here. So your dog can see through. And let's see. Then there's this front that closes just like a baby stroller. Let me put this on the tripod. Okay, so this cl it closes over just like a baby stroller and then you have this zippered part that zips right here on the side. This is the part that I found the most difficult about the stroller and it isn't even really difficult. And it zips around and your dog can see through all throughout here too. But that keeps them enclosed so there's nowhere for them to go. And then on top here, um, you probably won't be able to see, let's see. There's this part too. You can either close it or open it and there's Velcro here. So it'll stay open. So you can see in and look at your dog um, when you're walking them too. Um, let's see here. Oh, let me take these brakes off. Can't move it. Let me get the camera again. Okay, so then up here, they have two cup holders and a little area where you could maybe put some dog treats, some snacks for yourself. You could put, um, this is, I don't know if this is uh, big enough um, for the um, empty Kool-Aid container. Uh, the video I made that shows where you use one of those filled up with water and then the lid can be a water dish. Um, it might fit in this area. I'll link that video below if you uh, want to watch that. But So you can put water bottles, stuff there. And then on the bottom here is a little um, like basket, just like on a regular baby stroller where you could put extras. Um, maybe some more dog supplies, stuff for yourself. It would be great. This would be great if you're um, uh, maybe um, traveling with your dog and you're sightseeing and you want to take your dog with you. Your dog gets tired um, from walking too much. Please, Miggy, Miggy, please. I'm talking, okay? <laughs> they get tired or you want to go, please. Just like outside with the basketball. Just like outside with the basketball. Yes. Um, 
uh, your sightseeing going in stores and stuff, since your dog's completely contained in there, maybe the stores will, you could push your dog through the store without having to worry about um, them being able to say your dog's a snippy dog. They're, nobody's going to try to reach in and pet your dog. Give me that toy. Give, give it to me. I'm going to hang on to it for a minute. <laughs> oh, yeah. No one's reaching in to touch your dog because they're completely contained in the stroller. Um, so I think that would be great. Um, especially, well, not with four dogs like me. I'd have to have, and I think they do sell double strollers. I'd have to have two double strollers if I wanted to do that. Because we like to go to, uh, we love to go to Mackinac Island. We haven't been, I think since my daughter was in middle school and she's, she's uh, in her third year of college right now. <laughs> so it's been a while since we went, but I love Mackinac Island. If you don't know about Mackinac Island, Google it. You'll see how beautiful it is. Um, it's a beautiful place. I love going up there. Um, so anyways, that would be great if you're sightseeing or traveling for your pet. So I will not get rid of this stroller even when Max is 100% because I know you're going to get 100% Max. Yes, you are. And you'll be walking the whole walk with us. Yes. So I'll definitely keep it because you never know. I have four dogs. God forbid something else happens to one of them or when they're older, I could still push them around outside if they can't walk. You know, if they uh, don't have enough strength to walk a while, a ways. I can still push them around and let them get some fresh air and enjoy the outside. So um, it's, a, it's a really good stroller for $50. If you're going to be using it more, I would say probably invest in a little bit more um, expensive one because these plastic wheels probably would not last forever. Um, don't know what kind of roads you guys have. Our roads were just recently paved. And this plastic wheel up front makes quite a bit of noise um, when you're walking. So I'm sure if you upgraded and got a little more expensive one, the wheels would be a lot better. Um... And less noisy but for $50 this is gonna be just perfect for what we need it for so anyways I just wanted to share with you guys yes I still got your toy I still got your toy he loves these I got four of these I believe it was from Francis and two of them already the squeakers don't work anymore man look at see he's jumping up he's jumping up on that big leg yes you are See how he kind of holds it uh, in the front still? And his tail, he's doing good. He went for his fourth um, treatment today. He's wiggling his tail more. Still hangs to the side a little. Um, but he's doing really good. And he continues. I continue to see pro uh, progress. Even though it may be just a little bit. I still see progress. Look at they all want this ball. Yes, let's drive all the viewers' dogs crazy. <laughs> let's drive all their dogs crazy. They're going to be looking for the squeaky. <laughs> Bye, guys.